Well, good evening to you and uh, welcome on this most perfect evening for a game of football. Conditions are absolutely splendid and the folk of this town have come out in their droves for this match. Why would they? It is an ideal circumstance for what could be an ideal game. Everybody has been attracted to it. It has been the talk of the town and uh, the buses have been packed. Double-decker buses lining up outside. Coaches have carried thousands of away supporters here too and uh, all of it adds up to make a terrific a crackling atmosphere the match i think will be quite a spectacle this place simply a monument to the game so much prestige so much pride so much passion whenever football is played here jim how are you reading the formation yeah, and the two wide players up front can make the system pretty much succeed or fail. They'll be quite flexible in their creative movement. They like to drift in. At times, they'll mix their game up and, and keep their width. And, of course, they're also expected to track any runs from opposition fullbacks. So they've got quite hard-working jobs. But if they can gain a one-on-one -on -one advantage, they can dictate. And that gets things running. to get it forward quickly cuts it out hoists it forward goes direct to the front line and he's made sure that that won't get through and it's played forward Marley seem happy to let their strikers roam out wide and want that. No? No, well, my worry is that their, their main threat is being shifted out of contention. Uh, the ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. Plays it out to the wing. Forward it goes, done very well to intervene. There's a long ball. Looks to play him in, but uh, a minor communications breakdown. Steered forward. Marley going about it patiently, perhaps too patiently. Tries to get it forward quickly. Was one quality pass away from being a very decent chance, but very promising. Ah, quality deserted them when they really needed it. Looks to thread it through. Hoists it forward. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. And final action of the first half. So now the team has broken through. But certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. This is the first half compared with your expectation. Well, this has proved a very frustrating day so far, especially for the strikers. Nothing has been created for them. I think the service has been extremely poor. And after 45 minutes, it is still goalless. A change, perhaps, after half-time. We're already back underway here. Senegal can be very glad that half-time came when it did. Poor possession and very little firepower means they need a serious pickup in this second half. No guts, no glory. Brought forward, what does he try from here? And it's the goalkeepers to claim.
Marley getting a lot of touches here, but they're not making much progress. And it's played forward. This defence just doesn't trust itself to, to play a higher line. Frighten the people getting in behind. Yeah, absolutely. It just opens up the opportunity of not only strikers getting behind, but the runners from midfield too. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. And back to base. Very few chances to talk of, Jim. Defence is, it seems, on top here. Yes, nil-nil and little promise of a goal due to the shot-shy nature of this contest, but on it, there's plenty of energy on the pitch, not to give up hope just yet. He's in, big chance! Really well taken goal! Finally the breakthrough! One sweeping move, executed with deadly efficiency. Just when they thought they may be in at one end, they end up shipping a goal at the other, and it's all due to wonderful counter-attacking. They hardly had time to even react, and there's only one word to describe that, clinical. Mali have turned to their bench, and we're going to have a substitution. Senegal take the lead, 1-0. The perfect display, and the old saying comes to mind, when the going gets tough, etc. He's got options out wide. another change here <laughs> that's not gonna make it just five minutes left just a few more moments for them to hang on. Gets the better of it. It's one! It's there! And surely now, the result's beyond doubt. What a great finish, but how about the touch? It just allowed him to put the ball exactly where he wanted it, and the rest became a formality. Senegal could not have picked a better time to snatch a two-goal lead. Is there still time for a response? Yeah, looks very much like the final nail in the coffin for me, I have to say. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Well, that's where he wants it. Pass needed to be better than that, and he knows it. And that is that. So they have their win, they had all the answers to whatever the opposition threw at them. And the result followed inevitably. So what do you take away from it all, Jim? Yeah, and a result that was true to form, a big team beating a, a not-so-big team, and the lesson dealt. And thanks to Jim, we both wish